Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ria Varsami and I'm a shamanic astrologer. Today I will be sharing with you astrological information about the upcoming new moon that is happening in the energy of Gemini on the 6th of June. You can find down on the description exactly the time that the new moon will be on its peak depending on your time zone. So this is not just a regular new moon, it's a special new moon because of uh, Jupiter uh, that has also entered in the energy of Gemini just two weeks before this new moon. So this is not only starting a cycle of a month, it's like every new moon will do like a start a cycle of a, of a month approximately, but we are starting a new cycle of a one year because of Jupiter. So before I continue, I'll start analyzing everything and explaining to you. If you are not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can support my work and I can continue recording these videos for you guys. So I want to talk in this video a little bit more about Jupiter and planetary cycles because this is my favorite topic to talk about and also this is a great opportunity now with Jupiter. So on the 25th of May, Jupiter, which is the biggest planet, let's say, in size we have in our solar system, uh, changed signs, moved into a different energy, into a to an energy of Gemini. So Jupiter has a 12-year cycle. So it takes 12 years to go all around the zodiac wheel, all around the 12 zodiacs. And it stays one year in each zodiac sign. So let's say uh, it was for one year in Taurus until the 25th of May. And for now on, it's going to stay in Gemini for another year ahead. So this is really, really important for us, especially for you guys. You have your sun in Gemini, your moon in Gemini or your ascendant in Gemini. You will be the ones that you will be feeling this energy the most for the upcoming year also if you have some inner planets like venus mars mercury in the energy of gemini also uh, when jupiter will be aligning with these planets the upcoming year that is going to be very important uh, periods for you in your life uh, so i want to share a little bit about jupiter and jupiter is the best planet we have it's the planet of abundance of expansion of opportunities of new horizons so whatever is jupiter in our chart whatever is traveling this is where we're going to have the most of expansion in this area of our life. So check in your birth chart. Where is Jupiter? Where is the first degrees of Gemini? You might have Jupiter in two houses or you might have Jupiter in, uh, sorry, Jupiter. You might have Gemini in one house or in two houses. So is, because some people are writing to me, I have no Gemini in my chart. We all have all the two <laughs> Um So right now, Jupiter is in the second degree, second degree of Gemini just entered. So we're going to be having to go through all the 30 degrees for the upcoming year. So this is the area of your life will be mostly affected the upcoming year. So it's important to know. Uh, this new moon now is happening in the heart of Gemini, 16 degrees of Gemini, exactly in the middle. Every energy, every zodiac sign has 30 degrees. Uh, so uh, to understand the 16 degrees are in the middle. So every time we have a new moon, as I said, is a beginning of a new cycle. We're starting something new. Now with Jupiter also in Gemini, starting a new cycle, these two work together. So Jupiter and this new moon wants to expand our horizons, wants to open up our mind to all the amazing new, new, new possibilities that is there out for us. So the new moon is always with the sun. They're always in the same degrees when we have a new moon. So the sun is 16 degrees, the moon is in 16 degrees. What is very interesting in this new moon, we have also Venus in Gemini. <laughs> in 16 degrees like these three are in exactly the same degrees venus is the second prosperity planet we have the most amazing goddess energy venus is all about arts beauty uh, it's all about our divine feminine energy finances love relationships pleasure of life so this is also such a prosperous time right venus in conjunction exact with his new moon in gemini uh, and also jupiter entering gemini now another clue before I, I will I will connect the dots. I just wanted to know why I'm saying these things. I always like to uh, analyze before I do the interpretation for you. So what is the ruler of Gemini? The ruler of Gemini is Mercury. Mercury is the divine messenger. Is the planet that is cl the closest to the Earth. It's really close to the Earth, and uh, after the Moon is Mercury, right? So Mercury is also in Gemini. <laughs> Mercury is also in Gemini and is doing also a conjunction with Jupiter. That means are very close to the to degrees with Jupiter, so they work together. So Mercury is in six degrees of Gemini, and 
Jupiter is in two degrees. So you understand that, right? So Mercury is the planet that rules our mind, how we think, how we speak, how we communicate. Also, it's a manifestation planet because whatever we think, we speak, we create. We are creators. Conjuncting with Jupiter, we just enter and change energy and also is a planet like an amplifier, amplifies this energy, right? Plus the new moon, which is also uh, in the energy of Gemini and conjuncting Venus, right? Which is all about prosperity. And the archetype of Gemini, of Gemini in shamanic astrology is the archetype of the comedian, is the archetype also of the divine messenger, the ones that brings the messages to the world. That's why it's ruled by Mercury. It's all about communication. Uh, it's a lot about our mind, the intellectual mind, the new ideas. Uh, it's a lot about socializing, ha having fun. This kind of like comedian energy, that's why it's the archetype of the comedian, like joke, fun, easiness. So this is like a completely new, beautiful one year cycle starting right now with all this easy, funny, easy going energy that Gemini wants to bring for us. So I will tell you a little bit of a real, real life things. What happened to me? I was preparing for this video as I always do. Like I can never record it at the day that I put on my schedule. It's impossible. I always go into process until I'm ready to pass you the information. So I was sitting next to an amazing, amazing beach. I think it's one of the most amazing beaches I've ever seen in my life. The water was so transparent and clean. And I was there thinking one task after the other, right? I was like, okay, I have to, now I came for a swim. Then I have to go for a run. Then I have to go and eat. Then I have to do this. And I was like, and then the, the water or the nature, however I want to call it, it, it explained to me that I'm, I'm, we are so much programmed to be working with our masculine side, right? With this task oriented mind, like, oh, one thing after the other, one after the other. And the other hemisphere got activated there and was like the water element and was like, oh, you know what? Like, when are you going to have pleasure of life? How, when are you going to enjoy this beautiful moment? You are right now by the sea. When are you going to enjoy this moment? Never, because you're always thinking of the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So this is what I was like, oh, okay, I get it. So there is also a lot of mind energy. There is a lot of mind energy. And this now we have this opportunity to, with Venus, to learn how to enjoy life and not be so much in our mind. And we've been very much programmed, right, by the system. Since we are born, we are educated to be slaves. <laughs> Unfortunately, I know. We are going to school. We are like, literally like robots like, oh you have to do your work you have to you have to study then you have to become a good student then you have to go to university and you have to get a good job then you have to get a good wife a good man to get married etc etc right so we are programmed to work on this way on tasks and the next and the next and nature works like it's just be it's just there and it's just breathing and it's just enjoying the moment so this is also the energy with venus to really being in our feminine energy, it is the feminine energy, right? The passive energy and enjoyment of life and being there. So what does it matter, right? If we have all these, uh, let's say, luxuries in life or, uh, or money or uh, whatever we want, but when we cannot enjoy, we cannot be present and we're in our head, what's the point? So this is the message. That's the real abundance. The real abundance, the real prosperity is to be present is to know ourselves and to be present. It's not about what we have. It's about how, how, what we are. <laughs> well, this, this came like really in the flow right now. Okay, so this is really amazing because as I said, this is a new year cycle that I wrote so many notes here. I'm like, okay, I don't know which order to put it now. I, I, mix, I mix it up. So we are able to manifest at the moment a new life for us. This is the opportunity. As we are creators and everything we create through our mind, the stars right now, they, have, we have, they give us this opportunity to see a wider picture, see a higher perspective, see a different perspective, see all these new possibilities, all expansions. And the message is you can become anything you want. There is no limit in the universe on what you can do and what you can become. It's up to you to choose, think about it and just start to create it. So this is, this is the energy. We have five planets in Gemini. We have the Sun, the Moon, Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury. Five planets in Gemini. It's a lot. A lot of mind energy. So you might also feel the shadow of Gemini. You might feel a lot of confusion, mental fog, going into mental loops. You might feel like changing of moods and you want to do one thing, then you want to do another thing. This bipolar energy of, of Gemini, one thing or the other. This is absolutely normal also because this is... Uh, Jupiter is expanding all of these energies, so also uh, can expand the shadow side of it. 
So my advice for this <laughs> for this new moon is to work with the with the other hemisphere, not the one that is so much on the logic, but more on the, our creative sides. So art, for example, is an amazing uh, tool to open this creative side of us. Um, now, I want to talk about the aspects of the moon. So the moon does a square with Saturn. And Saturn is a karmic, the main karmic planet we have. It's connected also with limitations, with restrictions we put in ourselves. So also this new moon squaring Saturn wants us to show, want to show us all these limitations and restrictions we are putting into our lives, into ourselves. It's like, no, 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 I cannot do this. I can only do until this point. So this is a restriction we put on ourselves and this is what Saturn wants us to, to release and, and move on. Now, the moon also sextiles the north node, which is the karmic destiny. So this is also uh, facilitating this energy of aligning with this karmic destiny, which is for all of us. And this is, as I always say, something that we want to do, something that the karmic destiny is always connected with our heart, our heart deepest desire. And also the, the moon is trining another good aspect with the south node, which is again about past lives, karmic things. So also we have a lot of opportunity to release past lives, karmic stuff. So let's say uh, you might be a healer for many lifetimes, right? You might, be an, you, you might be a super skilled healer in this life, but this is not what your heart wants to do in this life. That's not what you really want to experience. You come here to experience something completely different. Maybe you want to be a cook in this life. Maybe you want to be a singer. Maybe you, to be, you want to be a guitar play, uh, play, player. Yeah. Maybe you want to be a rugby player. I don't know, but this is the thing. So this is like letting go of these identities also that are related with past lives and things we are maybe very easy for us to do or very good at, but this is not what is our deepest heart desire. So that's all I want to say. Uh, one more thing. Also, Jupiter and Mercury that are in conjunction, so they're working together, are doing a trine, a harmonious aspect with Pluto, which is the, pla the planet of transformation, death and rebirth. So also there is also a lot of transformation energy flowing at the moment, but very positive. This is a positive, harmonious aspect. So we have this opportunity also to, uh, as I said, to go some ego deaths. I always call them ego deaths or identity deaths and rise uh, what is the true us, the true self, what is our heart desire, what we want to do. <laughs> so, and this another thing, another thing I want to share is like, I was, I was also noticing the last days, like uh, this, this kind of realization, like we have so many voices in our heads, right? So many voices talking to us and this uh, wants to do this, this wants to do that. So this new moon also helps us to to be aware of all these voices and find our own voice. What is our own voice? And our own voice is our heart. What is our true heart desire? What we want to do? So this is the energy. So it's an amazing, amazing new cycle, one year cycle with this. And as I always say, the new moons and the full moons work as activations. And especially when we have, for me, is is one of the most important planets, Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in size and it's also it sets like it's like works like a chord. It's like amplify amplifies everything. So yes, it is an important new moon. It is an important new moon and gives us this big opening and opportunity. So that's all I want to have. That's all I have for you to say, to share with you today. And we have Venus on the background, and it's so funny because even before uh, recording this video, I was like, oh, I didn't paint anything the last weeks. I was so busy. What do I, what, I, what I'm gonna use as a background? And then I thought, oh, I'm just gonna use this this painting of Venus without even studying the the birth chart, right? I, I look at it like what's many days later. So yeah, this is Venus in my eyes, <laughs> lots of gold. And yeah, I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful new moon. And thank you so much for your comments. Also, I wanna say thank you so much for your beautiful, beautiful comments. I appreciate you all and all of your comments and I read them all. And have a beautiful new moon. Bye for now.